is your visor fogging up? Maybe your sunglasses or maybe even your GoPros when you film your rides. Now stick around, I got something that'll help with that. All right, for this one here, I gotta get my eyeballs out. I done screwed around, got old, can't see up close anymore. So when I was in Myrtle Beach filming uh, bike week, I was leaving the Rick Rack tent and Blaze anti-fall coatings was there. And you know, first thing I thought was, you know, I hear it in my head, ah, ha ha, we got them. And yeah, they kind of got me, but in a good way. If, you, uh, if you're interested in any of this, I'll have this down in the description. Uh, BlazeAntiFog.co is their website. No M, just CO. For the particular thing I bought was 16 bucks. It has it, and the reason I bought the microfiber cloth with it was because I didn't have one. But you can buy these in a three pack. Uh, did not look to see how much they were and did not write down how much the three pack was. But just for this was 16 bucks. And I always keep my microfiber cloth in a bag. That way I don't grab it and wipe down the bike or something and get a rock or dirt or something like that and scratch up my glasses or my visor. So the directions for this says to clean, let's say my sunglasses for instance, clean them, dry them off, and then take this or the spray for larger application like your visor on your helmet. Spray it on, let it turn to a haze, kind of like when you wax a car in the sun, how it dries up and leaves a haze. Let it haze up and then buff it off with your microfiber cloth. And they recommend five to seven days. Me, personally, my sunglasses I do every two weeks. My helmet I do once a month. I don't, my riding, typically I'm not out at night and typically I'm not out early in the morning when I would usually get fog. Um, so I would say it's depending on your riding style, when you ride, where you ride, what the humidity is, the temp, all that. And even if it's raining, uh, I did get caught in the rain a little bit and it just beat it off kind of like what rain x does so yeah i would i would recommend this product um the jars typically for like sunglasses um small stuff like that they have a drip for like gopro cameras uh cell phone camera and then they got the spray to cover larger applications like your helmet, which I only bought this and I just smear it on and take my time with it and make sure it's all covered. But I am going to end up having to order more. So I've heard people talk about using shaving cream and rubbing all over your visor, then buffing off. I don't know about any of that. I've never tried it. I have tried this, I've tried Rain-X, and to be honest, when I tried Rain-X, it pretty much gave me a little less than two weeks when I used it on certain things like my visor or my helmet. It didn't last very long. This here actually will last a little bit longer. They recommend five to seven days. I say it depends on your uh, environment and when and where you're riding and how you're riding how much heat you put off under your helmet. You know, that's a lot of things to take in consideration. And at 16 bucks, I should have looked up the price for three. They have different kits that you can buy that comes with either, you know, the spray, the drip, the jar, you can get extra rags, you know. So, I mean, it's really all up to what you want to do. But if you're looking for an alternative, I do recommend the Blaze. 
No, I am not sponsored by them because there is no banner up there. But I would definitely go check it out at 16 bucks. I mean, that's going to give you enough to try out and make up your own mind. But I just wanted to stop by and give everybody another opportunity to try something else that works just as good as or better than some of the other stuff on the market. I still have another review video coming up. Until the next one, see you later.